So if we divide that 355 by 2, what we'll get is 1, 2, 1, 15, 7, 178 amps, basically. So each one of these batteries has to produce 178 amps. Okay, go to our calculator and plug in for current down there 178 amps. So basically I plugged in 178 amps right there in current because that's how much each battery has to produce and then I can do calculate uh, amp hours based on current, given current, which is the button at the bottom. So calculate amp hours given amps. And when I click that, it showed me that that battery is able to produce 178 amps for 0.2 hours. These values are in hours. So if you want to convert hours to minutes, you can take that 0.215, multiply it by 60, and 13 minutes. And so that was the uh, red top. So this red top battery can produce that for 13 minutes before it's dead. Let's do the yellow top. So scroll back up on that website and let's plug in the values for the yellow top. The yellow top's 20 hour capacity is 75 and its reserve is 155. We can calculate Pugert again. Go down to the bottom. Given at 178 amps, it will produce that for 0.3 hours. 0 0.310 hours. Multiply that by 60. 18 minutes. So what we basically find out is that this system right here but somewhere between, at, at 13 minutes, this battery is going to be dead. So this battery is going to have to take all the load. So it's not going to be even 18 minutes. It's going to be somewhere between 13 and 18 minutes that this, these two batteries can produce all of that current with the, with the 90 amp alternator. That's what your car running, assuming that it's putting out all 90 amps. Okay, so that's pretty much how it's done. So we can just kind of play with this equation some. So let's do that. Let's get rid of all of this so we'll have some room to work. Okay, so let's say we are going to get ourselves a little bit stronger alternator. Let's say we get a, uh, a 200 amp alternator. And let's say we're going to put in there three batteries. Instead of uh, Optima, let's choose another battery. Let's do a, uh, a DECA Intimidator Group 31 battery. That battery has a uh, 100 amp hour battery. It's a 100 amp hour battery with uh, 190 minutes of reserve. So we go plug that into the equation and we and then we determine how many amps have to each battery has to produce. So let's take our 445 amps, subtract the uh, 200 that our alternator is producing. 245 amps. So each one of these batteries has to uh, split that load. So let's take 3 in the 245. 8, 24, 0, 5, 1, 3. So, around 82. So let's say each one of these batteries has to put 82 amps into the system. So let's go to our Pugert equation and solve for our DECA Intimidator, get our value for the DECA Intimidator. So we plug in our 20 hour capacity, which is 100 amp hours. Plug in our reserve, which is 190, and hit Calculate Pugert. Then we can scroll down 
and plug in our current requirement for each battery and then get give and give amp hours given an amount of amp point eight hours so point eight times sixty forty eight minutes So, if uh, this, they uh, get them a 200 amp alternator and three DECA Intimidator batteries, they can crank that thing up for around 48 minutes before these batteries are all dead. But you can put any kind of combination you want to, combination of alternators and batteries to figure out how long it's going to last. So if you want to do just burst of power, you can uh, like do your maximum current and figure out how many batteries you need to support that for however many bursts you want to do or like if you have to do it without the uh, battery in there I mean without the alternator running it's the same situation but that's how you do it